In statistics, an efficient estimator is an estimator that estimates the quantity of interest in some best possible manner. The notion of best possible relies upon the choice of a particular loss function, the function which quantifies the relative degree of undesirability of estimation errors of different magnitudes. The most common choice of the loss function is quadratic, resulting in the mean squared error criterion of optimality. Finite sample efficiency. Suppose p theta 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 is a parametric model and x equals of the data sampled from this model. Let t equals t be an estimator for the parameter theta. If this estimator is unbiased, then the Cramier-Kutarau inequality states the variance of this estimator is bounded from below, whereas the Fisher information matrix of the model at point theta. Generally, the variance measures the degree of dispersion of a random variable around its mean. Thus estimators with small variances are more concentrated, they estimate the parameters more precisely. We say that the estimator is finite sample efficient estimator if it reaches the lower bound in the cramier qtar rau inequality above, for all theta theta. Efficient estimators are always minimum variance unbiased estimators. However, the converse is false. There exist point estimation problems for which the minimum variance mean unbiased estimator is inefficient. Historically, finite sample efficiency was an early optimality criterion. However, this criterion has some limitations. Finite sample efficient estimators are extremely rare. In fact, it was proved that efficient estimation is possible only in an exponential family, and only for the natural parameters of that family. This notion of efficiency is restricted to the class of unbiased estimators. Since there are no good theoretical reasons to require that estimators are unbiased, this restriction is inconvenient. In fact, if we use mean squared error as a selection criterion, many biased estimators will slightly outperform their best unbiased ones. For example, in multivariate statistics for dimension 3 or more, the mean unbiased estimator, sample mean, is inadmissible. Regardless of the outcome, its performance is worse than for example the James Stein estimator. Finite sample efficiency is based on the variance, as a criterion according to which the estimators are judged. A more general approach is to use loss functions other than quadratic ones, in which case the finite sample efficiency can no longer be formulated. Example among the models encountered in practice, efficient estimators exist for the mean mu of the normal distribution, parameter lambda of the Poisson distribution, the probability p in the binomial or multinomial distribution. Consider the model of a normal distribution with unknown mean but known variance. P theta equals n, theta r. The data consists of n iid observations from this model. X equals. We estimate the parameter of theta using the sample mean of all observations. This estimator has mean theta and variance of sigma 2, n, which is equal to the reciprocal of the Fisher information from the sample. Thus, the sample mean is a finite sample efficient estimator for the mean of the normal distribution. Relative efficiency. If and are estimators for the parameter, then is said to dominate if its mean squared error is smaller for at least some value of the MSE does not exceed that of for any value of theta. Formally, dominates if holds for all, with strict inequality holding somewhere. The relative efficiency is defined as although is in general a function of, in many cases the dependence drops out, if this is so. Being greater than 1 would indicate that is preferable, whatever the true value of asymptotic efficiency. For some estimators, they can attain efficiency asymptotically and are thus called asymptotically efficient estimators. This can be the case for some maximum likelihood estimators or for any estimators that attain equality of the Cramier-Qtar-Rau bound asymptotically.